Hi everybody, today I will show you how to easily create this minimal ocean scene in Blender. It will be looking similar to what you can see here. Ok, but first I want to show you what we will need to create this scene. So, for the environment texture image, I'll be using this image from Polyheaven.com. It's called Kloppenheim 06 Pure Sky. And for the object scene, I will be using this bar also from Polyheaven.com. It is called Barrel Stove. You can download this texture for environment and this object called Barrel Stove from Polyheaven. Furthermore, world object, world texture environment will have these settings. Next, we will create C object with these settings and then we add some depth to this scene and that's it. So, okay, we can add, we can start a new scene. File, new, general. Okay, I can delay this cube, we will not need it. And first of all, we will set some settings from the for the render view. We can change the viewport to 512 and render also 1512. Okay, we will be using cycles render and feature set experimental for the displacement and bump. Okay. Okay, let's open shader editor. Here we choose shader editor, yes, and for height menu. And now we can change this to world. Okay. And we can add now shift A, search for environment texture. Environment texture will place with join color to color. Okay. And now we will choose the downloader, downloaded texture from Polyheaven. Okay, I opened my download texture now and here we want to see this texture. Yes. And now we can see that this texture is loaded into the scene. Okay, we can also add texture coordinate and mapping by selecting this panel and click Ctrl T. Okay, and automatically, automatically these new panels will show in our view shader. There is one thing we can change the color space from linear to sRGB. Okay, to look more natural. And for that moment we can leave it as is, as, as it is, and we will be back for this world and texture later. Okay, we can change this world to object, widen our scene. Okay, and now we can add create C object C waves etc. Okay, so shift A mesh and plane. Okay, maybe we'll place it a little bit a little bit higher. You can change to shading view. Okay, and now we can scale it a lot. So, but we want to uh, scale it only in two directions. So, tap to go to the 
editor mode, select two for edges, and we can now pull this much in this way, and here this edge. Okay, maybe this is good. Here. Okay. Maybe also a little bit more from this. Okay. And that's that's it. Okay, being in editor mode. Let's go to the shading. Click free for face select and right click for subdivide. And we will cut these faces maybe 15, 50 times. Okay. Enter. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe 60. Okay. Okay, tap out, back to the shading view, now we will create noise texture and color ramp for this panel, okay, so back to the Shader view. Okay. We can add new material. Okay. Okay. Shift A for color ramp. Color ramp. Okay. And noise texture. Shift A. Search for noise noise texture okay we can place it here okay okay color ramp to color to base color and noise texture factor to factor okay now now we can see that we see some shaders in our mesh pane okay but we want to add nice blue colors so in the color ramp maybe we'll add four colors two three four okay and first color i will change to light blue maybe something like this and second color maybe more more white okay and a little a little bit bluish third color to dark blue okay maybe maybe something like this you can of course experiment with these colors these are my settings, but you can experiment. I will move this a little bit. Okay. Now in noise texture, I will set scale to maybe 10. Okay. I will leave detail as it is, roughness as it is, and distortion for now, I will leave like this. Okay, now in the material properties, we have to sure we have to be sure that in settings we have displacement in surface set to displacement and bump. Okay, and now we can create displacement for our texture for our mesh pane. Okay. I move it here and shift a search for displacement displacement okay you can connect it to displacement 
Okay. Okay, and now we use two textures noise texture and wave texture. So Shift A, search for noise texture, texture, okay, and wave, Shift A, search for wave texture, okay, paste here, maybe a little bit here, okay, zoom. And now uh, we will be mixing mixing these two texture uh, before displacement. Okay, so Shift A, search for mix, mix RGB here. We can connect it colors color to height and noise texture factor to color one and color to color two. Okay, we see that some displacement is going on, but this is not what we want to achieve, of course. Okay, for the wave texture, we want to control it more, so we can control T to have mapping and texture coordinates. Okay, and now we will be setting this noise texture and wave texture. Okay, for the noise texture I will be using 2D scale 120 detail maybe to 0 roughness 0 distortion maybe 1 okay and now, now in wave texture, I will be using bands and X uh, axis, and of course sign uh, for the profile. Okay, set scale to twenty two. Okay, distortion maybe ten. Okay, detail maybe maybe nine or maybe oh okay let's leave it nine detail scale set to two uh, detail roughness mm, can be 0 0.5 phase offset set to we can leave it for for zero okay this is looking not nice now but we have to add in the modifier panel of course we have to add subdivision surface okay adaptive subdivision of course okay and we can leave it now as this back to our shader editor and in this placement scale we can set it down scale it down because we don't want to be so much high okay okay for the base color we can roughness set to maybe something like this transmission of course to almost one or maybe let it be one okay okay and uh, we can also set specular maybe a little bit lower maybe this much roughness also a little bit more down okay we see that the waves are the two more too 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 much too high waves maybe we should set the scale lower okay maybe a more much much more lower okay maybe this look a little bit nicer okay let's see the bigger picture okay 
we have environment texture and the sunset here maybe we will we want to make it much maybe we will move it we will place it just maybe maybe here okay so let's change this object to world and maybe we want to set the background strand lower okay maybe lower okay and set the rotation z rotation z rotation we can manipulate this okay to move our environment texture okay yes maybe 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 a little to the left okay maybe here okay and maybe this is too high maybe we want to move it a little bit down in the location okay no no of course z axis this too much maybe 0 0.3 no 0 0.03 of course okay maybe this is better for our view okay okay let's back to our texture our waves texture so from world we can change all but maybe in world uh, we can change background strand lower maybe oh maybe all point three is, is enough okay it would look a little bit nicer okay lower the view okay the waves are too high okay so we will be manipulating this displacement okay so the back to the wall from wall to object okay we can scale it a little bit down maybe yes and this looks really nice already okay so maybe we'll be manipul manipulating settings of our waves later but now we want to add our barrel so file append we'll choose append okay and barrel stove we click in the place where we download this texture we choose bar stove blend and we choose object and bar stove okay append we have our bar appended okay maybe we will rotate this bar a little bit so r and y okay maybe this much and G set to scale to move it a little bit higher. Okay, you can G and Y on the axis Y. Okay, maybe a little, no, maybe closer or okay, here. You can move it here. Okay, this is just about setting this, this scene. You can experiment, of course, with this okay in this position because we have an hdri texture the light from the sun sun setting sun will um, very nicely light our barrel okay okay we can experiment a little bit with our c waves okay maybe we can set scale to maybe 30 okay we'll see how it goes how it looks okay maybe a little it looks maybe a little nice nice 
we can define the y axis of the displacement maybe we will choose two so we'll see how it looks no no this is not good we'll okay to get back to one okay oh this is this is really nice for now but of course you can experiment with all these settings yes you can uh, change these parameters and see how it goes how it looks and yes this is uh, just the, the matter of setting this up okay so we have our scene and maybe we can make a first render okay move it a little bit to see more of the sunset move it up okay change to camera okay but this is bad we have to move it and of course we want to render only this region so ctrl b and select this view okay now lower this camera with yes okay with mouse wheel okay and in the settings so with the camera settings we have camera okay in the camera settings we want to change from perspective type to panoramic okay this is this is bad okay maybe change the lenses to okay maybe 15 okay and now now we can zoom okay a little bit more let's place it like this is a matter of placing these things and setting this up okay you know you see where well, the type is panoramic and the fish either the lenses are one and the curves you we can see we can see the curve of the lenses okay but we have to maybe move this no maybe we'll make something different we'll choose object to the world and we will move rotation z z okay maybe here okay and in the camera settings we will zoom in okay maybe we'll place this a little bit here here okay off and rotate z okay place it more maybe far away okay now in back to the camera object we can change field of view but this is no this is maximum the field of view of 300, 360 is maximum but we can we, we see that the, we can change this mesh plane maybe a little wider we can make it a little bit wider yeah or maybe just render it as it is and we will see maybe a little closer Move it like this here check the bar r for rotation z okay camera up shift and wheel press okay and now we can render okay but okay let's check we have everything set properly yes maximum samples 512 and render render image okay and we will be waiting for the render okay the image has rendered it is pretty much time consuming but not too much and it looks real real nice you can see the nice curve of the um, camera type 
uh, the fisheye fish camera type, yes, and it looks really, really nice. Now we can add some depth near the um, wave, near the sea surface, and we will see if this something, if this changed something for better. Okay, so back to the scene. Okay, what we can do, we can change to shading. Okay, select object, tap to edit mode, and maybe we will select only few faces, maybe this much. Okay. Now we can press okay, Shift D to duplicate and Z axis. Okay, under this surface. Okay, P for separate and selection. Click selection. Okay, tap out and we can see what this did. Okay, we want to select this object. The material panel we want to remove it okay okay go back to the edit mode okay select all faces maybe we'll add more we will subdivide it okay subdivide maybe three times okay uh, along normals, of course, and we'll choose fractals, fractals, fractals to make more to do deform this sur surface. Maybe this much or number of cuts, maybe two, maybe two is enough. Okay, and fractals smoothness to one, fractal maybe more. Okay, maybe something like this. Okay, tap out see how it goes place under the surface maybe here let's see in the render view okay back to the shader view tap in okay select all faces and extrude extrude down for z axis okay and we can scale the bottom surface scale and set and set and press zero okay and enter tap out we have nice surface let's see okay but we want to change color of this uh, object so Let's go to the material panel, okay. Object, okay, new. And we will change the color of this to maybe more green. Okay. And something like this. Roughness down. Specular can be as this transmission will play will set much higher, maybe something like this. Okay, and place it near the surface. Okay. And we can now see if this is good or not okay the plane without plane and with plane okay we see different colors in this area and slightly it is giving a little more depth to our ocean yes we can maybe we can scale it more S and Y. Okay. Move G and Y. OK. 
Okay. Maybe we can make it much brighter. Okay. Roughness down, maybe. Okay. Let's zoom in and see how it looks now. If we can see the colors uh, from that object near the surf surface, and when we uh, hide it, we see the difference. Yes, it's more flat now, and there with this object. Uh, not hide it, we can see more more depths, more, more colors to the under under the surface, uh, ocean surface. Yes. Okay. okay. Okay, back to the camera. And this looks real nice. Real, real nice. You can, of course, experiment with the settings, but this is the this is it. This is quick tutorial how to make a mini, mini, minimalistic ocean scene in Blender using um, objects from Poly Heaven. Thank you for watching and goodbye.